Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, you may hear some uh, commotion going on in the background. We got some peeps over here, you know what I'm saying, making some tamales and stuff. So yeah, I cannot wait. That loves me some tamales. But anyway, uh, not about the uh, tamales. It's about my man Ryan Upchurch's uh, latest vlog. This one being called Sissy Country Singer. And we got a little princess emoji face in the title and i'm not gonna lie i was watching uh, a little bit of this uh right before i decided to uh do a reaction video for it because i definitely want to give my take give my opinions you know what i'm saying onto this uh little situation here so without further ado y'all let's go ahead and get into church's latest vlog simply called sissy sissy country singer without further ado like the hit hit so I watch this uh, channel called Country Cast because they're always like up to date with the news and shit. Look at this bogus shit. Twenty twenty one started out as a rough year for Morgan Wallen, and his future quickly came into question after the release of the controversial video put out by TMZ of Wallen using a racial slur in the front yard of his home at the time. First off, this news is fucking ancient. Country cast, it, this, not against country cast, but all these other motherfuckers wanting to keep bringing it up all the time, it's because y'all ain't got nothing going on. By the oh, this must be the same dude. So, okay, I think this is that, that, that same dude who, um, I think he was at a bar or something, he was having some drinks. And then I believe he had came home, whatever. He got into a shouting match with somebody and somebody heard him yell the N-word and stuff like that. I think that's that same dude. I could be wrong, though. Let's get back into this. By the way, I love how the news bleeped it out so you couldn't see that he didn't say it the way that they're trying to make everybody think he said it. it, it exactly. And this is one thing that, that really irks me, especially with me being a former security guard and all. I'm always told if you're going to report something, make sure you have all your facts. Make sure you document everything to show proof. You know what I mean? Especially if you're going to, you know, if you're um, alleging that somebody had said something, you know what I mean? Make sure you note it down. If you actually heard it, make sure you write down word for word what they said verbatim. You know what I mean? The best to your knowledge or, you know, like right when you heard it or whatever. Um yeah, it, I always find it suspect that when, when people report the news or whatever, they're saying, oh, he said this, but then they, they, they bleep it out. So it's like, okay, how do I know if this person actually said it or not? You know what I mean? In whatever way, when, when, when you bleeped it out, so I can't hear it for myself. You know what I mean? Bruh, bruh, security 101, document everything and show your proof before you report. But now at the end of 2021, Morgan Wallen's future is brighter than ever. With all of the record-breaking numbers that he has seen with his sophomore album, Dangerous. And that's why they're mad. That's why the only people talking shit is other country singers that nobody fucking listens to no more. Such as the ticket sales to his shows, album sales, and sh And that's not just the country music scene. I mean, that, that, that's everybody, you know what I mean? Everybody that, that used to be relevant on the mainstream, in, in whatever industry, you know what I'm saying, on the mainstream... <clears throat> when when they they no longer become relevant, they look for they, they try to be a part of that 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 cancel culture, um, you know, group or whatever, and be like, oh, I'll cancel this guy because you know he said this or he did that or whatever, and it's like, dude, who gives a fuck, man? It's it's, a, it's all in the past. Why why are you gonna carry that dark cloud over somebody's head over something that they did when when they were younger? You know what I'm saying? And not you know who they are currently. You know what I'm saying, bro? Come on streaming numbers they have simply been gargantuan so there is no question that he is taking country music by storm but there is one country artist who does not appreciate all of the fame that has circulated around morgan since his return and that country artist is jason isbell never even heard of that and here's one of the reasons why i'm pissed off man this dude um the, is, is about to make an ass out of himself and he shares the same first name as i do Bruh. Way to bring the shame to my name, bruh. That person, I don't even know who the hell that is. Jason's newest comments come as no surprise, which we will get into just a moment. Because since Isbell caught wind of the controversial video surrounding Morgan Wallen, he has called out the artist. <laughs> who gives a shit? Around the time of the incident, Jason tweeted out and said, 
Wallen's behavior is disgusting and horrifying. I think this is an opportunity for the country music industry to give that spot to somebody who deserves it. And there are lots of black artists who deserve it. What a stupid fucking comment. If, if, even if that is your opinion, why couldn't you have said talented artist? It, it, exactly. Uh, not to cut church off, but why? Why are we putting this emphasis on race? And why is it that this white man is putting an emphasis on race? That is not a good look for you, my guy. In this world where minorities are looking at y'all like y'all the devil, you know what I'm saying? Um, mainly the, the uh, BLM community and what have you, you know what I'm saying? Or those who are, you know, anti-white, you know what I'm saying? That is one of the dumbest things you could say right now as a white man. Bruh, that... Jesus. Country artist. Why you gotta be like, there's plenty of black people who could fucking take it. You just... Exactly. Why not just say talented country artists in general? We know there we know better. You know what I mean? Now nowadays in today's day and age, there are yes, there are black artists that don't just rap, they don't just do hip hop music, you know what I mean? Some do rock music, some do heavy metal music, some do country music. Look at Second Chance. Second Chance. <clears throat> For those of you who may not have, have heard of him, a prime example of a multi-talented, you know what I mean? Very versatile artist who does rap and hip-hop music. He also does R&B music. And he also does country music. Yeah. Man, I need to react to uh, to uh, some, some, some second chance. I've been meaning to do that for the longest time. I need to really get on the ball with that. So, uh, yeah. Yo, mental note, mental note to self. Uh, start reacting to second chance. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get back into this. Sound like you're trying to cover up some shit you're insecure about. Not to mention you're being openly like shitty and salty about a 28 year old. You fucking dingleberry. Short. For real, man. Like, is this what um e e either 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 you know unknowns or um, has beens are are doing nowadays on the internet? They got nothing better to do but but trying to use somebody else's mistake you know what i mean in order to get themselves to be back relevant again is that, is that what we're doing nowadays are we using newer and younger talented artists for us to get our spotlight back is that is that how we we, we uh we uh playing this game i mean if it is then dude you are a freaking you are a freaking snake in the grass you know what i'm saying that is just you are you are definitely one of those those th freaking cancel culture vultures you know what i'm saying that's just looking to swoop in and try to be that that white knight you know what i'm saying that unofficial white knight that you know just just trying to look out for black artists as you put it mr isbell bruh this is this is just ridiculous man it needs to stop let's go shortly after his initial tweet another twitter user commented back and said interesting I thought you would definitely recognize and acknowledge that Morgan Wallen clearly has a toxic. Another Twitter user commented back and said, interesting. I thought you would definitely recognize and acknowledge that Morgan Wallen clearly has a toxic relationship with alcohol. His self-destructive behavior is concerning and unhealthy, and he clearly needs help. He's a talented dude with so much potential who has a drinking problem. Isbell which, okay, fair enough. And yeah, when you do shit under the influence, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. But, and again, alcohol is known to be truth serum. And I'm not trying to say, like, uh, Isbell, I'm not going to say his first name because I don't think he, he deserves the same name as me. Um, I don't, for for Isbell to just, just focus on, you know, this dude's actions and not looking at the whole, the overall bigger picture of what's really going on. I mean, for him to just, to just, you know, bring that up. It's just, dude, fucking do something better with your life. Try to find a better way to come up. You know what I mean? And I'm sorry, I actually lost my train of thought. But no, I mean, dude, just just stop. Just stop with this nonsense because now you, you're making yourself look like, you know, an ass 
trying to regain relevancy. You know what I'm saying? Whether you had it or not, that that's debatable. I mean, I, I didn't know who the hell this person was either until, um, was it a uh, country cast that started, um, you know, mentioning this, this person and, and showing their, uh, their uh, tweet, if you will, who has a drinking problem. Isbell retweeted the reply and answered back by saying, I didn't say tar and feather the boy. If he makes real change, his life will be just fine. But if he isn't held accountable, black people in the industry will know how little country music really cares about them, even now. And that's much sadder to me than alcoholism. Okay, you're, you're not saying to tar and feather the boy, but yet you want him to not be a part of the music industry. You want him to, to, to uh, starve. Okay. I, I, I guess by, I don't know, some crazy, some crazy um, logic that, that makes some, some kind of sense somewhere. I don't know. Seems like to me his life is just fine, if you ask me. But, you know, if he makes change in his life, you know, his life will be just much better. But he needs to change. Who the fuck made you Broadway Jesus? Shut up. In a re For real. And who are you to be so caught up in someone else's life that you're not trying... You're not doing your part in just shutting the fuck up, minding your own damn business, and getting your own shit together. That's what you should be doing. Instead of worried about what somebody else is doing. Stay in your lane. Mind your damn business. Recent interview with BuzzFeed, Jason Isbell shared his feelings on Morgan Wallen's growth since the controversial incident. And see, and this is why I don't I don't watch crap like this. And I don't follow anybody who do these kind of reportings anymore. You know what I mean? I don't even I don't even watch YouTubers that, that do this kind of stuff anymore. You know what I mean? Because uh what happens is I, I, and then I, I get into it, you know what I mean, when they do, like, news reporting on the music scene, you know what I mean, and then all of a sudden their channel changes and they go into something else, or they they still do what they do, but now there's more fake news being, being uh, implemented, all for the sake of views and, um, and uh, subs, which, don't get me wrong, I mean, yeah, YouTube, it, it is a grind, it is a hustle, you do what you gotta do to get your views and your subs up and everything, but I mean, you know, if you're no longer gonna be, gonna be re, you know, doing, if you're no longer gonna do honest news reporting, then, uh, I'm sorry, but you, you are, you are, you are fake as fuck. I mean, it is what it is. Good God, this dude's fucking obsessed with Morgan Wallen. I've been watching his growth, I've been watching his Instagram, I've been watching his hair grow. What the fuck else have you been doing? Jason told BuzzFeed, I think it's hilarious that people assume that making somebody less famous is like cutting their fucking dick off. Oh, is that right? Sounds like something a less famous person would say. We're not calling for the man's head. Facts, that does sound like something someone less famous would say. <laughs> oh, is that right? Sounds like something a less famous person would say. We're not calling for the man's head. We're just going... This guy is an idiot, and he does not deserve to be put on a pedestal. So let's take him off the pedestal and put him back down on the sidewalk with... In other words, let's starve him. Let's, let's not kill him, you know, quickly or embarrass him, humiliate him, you know what I mean, cause him to kill himself. No, let's just starve him. Let, let, let's watch him die a slow, miserable death over a word. What happened to sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, I, I, if I said this once, I've said it a thousand times. Words only have as much power as you give them. If you're going to be wasting your life, wasting your time, being one of those, those, those sensitive little, little, little bitches, you know what I mean, that gets overly butthurt over a fucking word. Then get off the internet. Seriously, man. Like, how old are we, man? Like, come on. That's the problem with, with society nowadays. We're so overly sensitive 
over freaking words that don't mean shit at the end of the fucking day. Man, let's go. Everybody else. Why don't you get down here on this sidewalk and start playing some music and stop crying? How about that? For real, like I said, instead of worrying about what someone else has done, right? Holding someone else's past over their heads. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a miserable little, little shit that, you know, should be doing something better with your time to help get you to where you need to be. Like Church said, even if it means getting out, get, taking your ass out on that sidewalk that you want this other person to be on and having your, your guitar or whatever instrumental that you're supposedly good at playing and start singing your own songs out there, you know what I mean? And start collecting some, some, some change. You know what I mean? Ain't no shame in that. It's an honest grind. It's an honest hustle. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to anyone and everyone who does that. You know what I mean? Because, hey, at least you're not out, you know, hurting somebody in, in, in any kind of way, whether it be physically, you know, financially, whatever the case. You know what I'm saying? No, you're out there. You, you grinding. You playing some honest music. You know what I'm saying? That people can can, can enjoy. And they're, and they're, you know, giving, giving you uh, tips and stuff. You know what I mean? Bruh. Ain't no shame in that. Get your hustle on. Let's go. Sounds like to me you want to be on a pedestal. It's like, <laughs> look at him. I don't like him. He's up there and I'm not. Wait. That is what, what that is too. It, it's it's jealousy. You know what I'm saying? Because this person has worked um, hit his ass off so hard. Got to the level where he is. You know what I'm saying? And meanwhile, you got this person that's way down below into um, obscurity. You know what I mean? That's got a, you know huge issue that's not really really his issue it's just again him trying to use the situation to make himself relevant which is sad and pathetic just be happy for a motherfucker dude mm -hmm. that's all anybody asked for the mistakes that he made were enough to warrant giving somebody else that spot this fucking dude jason isabella sounds like a fucking a crummy ass fucking substitute teacher for real, facts. It sounds like a freaking male. Um, I don't know if I could actually say the term because I know YouTube they be uh, watching for certain words and terms. I'll just say uh, he's a regular. Rhymes with Sharon. All right, we'll, we'll we'll put it that way. Let's go. The problem was they had already invested so much money in Morgan that when he made those mistakes, they didn't want to lose that investment. They didn't. They fucking quadrupled it. That's why dude's bad. Isbell even compared Morgan Wallen's growth to one of the greatest singers in country music history, George Jones, and said, listen to how they talk about George Jones. There's a lot of shit that George did that was not cool. Oh my god, this dude done went full on rolly backpack snitch to the teacher so you go to ISS. For real, man, this dude is just throwing a lot of people under the bus, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, making a comparison to somebody else too, and it's like, dude, who cares? Okay, who cares? Nobody's perfect, you know what I mean? Every human being on this planet, from myself to all of you who are watching this video, to everyone else in this world, every single one of us, we're all flawed human beings at the end of the day. We're all going to make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It's it's unfair to hold, you know, each individual to a a standard where the goalpost is constantly moving. You know what I mean? Because you demand perfection. Well, your or at least your version of perfection, you know what I mean, from this people. You know what I mean? That that, that they'll never reach. We 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 all say stupid. I've said stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? I have. Whether it's on this platform or off the platform, I've said some stupid shit. But do I dwell on it? No. I move on. I learn from it and I move on and I try to, you know, tread more lightly with, with, with what I say and how I say things. You know what I'm saying? But because I'm trying to make it on, on, on this platform. You know what I mean? So yeah, I know I got to watch myself. It sucks. You know what I mean? But hey, I, I still try to keep, I still try to be as transparent as possible. I still try to be as honest as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. But, man, it just it just sucks. You know what I mean? That people are just have nothing better to do but to, to try to change everybody else. All because, oh, they're, they're, they're so miserable. They have nothing better to do with their time. It's that misery loves company crowd. You know what I'm saying? 
again, we're all flawed human beings at the end of the day. We, we've all said some dumb things. We've all done some, some dumb things. And people with glass houses shouldn't throw stones. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Man, let's get back into this. Shit that you really should not be able to completely be redeemed from. Listen, bro, your last music video has 177,000 views in one year, Mr. Isabella. Don't be talking shit about George Jones. The fuck are you doing? Are you drunk? Isabella appears to not be too enthused by the rise and rapid success. Yeah, he probably, he probably drunk himself and all this stuff that he's saying about... Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blank on, on the dude's name, and that's mainly what this video is about. Uh, Wallen... You know what I mean? Talking all shit about him. It's probably some some he's probably on some freaking drunken binge and whatever and and you know, that's probably just some little little, little freaking alcoholic temper tantrum he's throwing on social media. Of Morgan Wallen. Well, good thing your opinion don't fucking matter. It's just his fans' opinion that matters. And even a little bitter about George Jones. Then get the fuck out of Nashville, motherfucker. This ain't LA. And what's interesting is, is that Morgan Wallen and Jason Isbell have connections between one another by way of Morgan Wallen's cover of one of Isbell's most famous songs. You may know it. It's called Cover Me Up. Oh, so that's that's what the deal is. Okay, gotcha. He got covered up because Morgan covered his song Cover Me Up and it covered him up. <laughs> that's hilarious. Whatever. Team, get all these sissy fucking country singers out of this fucking town. Dude, not just country music, but get a bunch of these these sissy artists out of music in general. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I've been had enough of this shit, and so has everyone else. I don't feel excuse. And yo, I I could not agree more with that sentiment. You know what I'm saying? Church done hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired of not just these artists, but you know some Hollywood actors and actresses. You know what I'm saying? That are trying to like be this unofficial white knight, you know what I mean, when really they have no freaking clue what's what's going on. They don't know the whole story because they're so out of touch, you know what I'm saying, because they got their own BS going on or whatever. And at the end of the day, do these people really care? No, they don't. They're only saying this stuff because, you know, they want people to buy what they're selling, whether it's music, movies, or whatever other form of entertainment that's out there. It's even in video games nowadays, you know what I mean? And it's just downright ridiculous. But anyway, let me let Church finish off, and then I'll I'll give my overall fi final thoughts, and then we'll close it out. And so is everyone else. Now, if you'll excuse me, the locals going back to doing local shit. See you motherfuckers later. Six one five. All right. I want to make sure I'm getting it, you know, before it actually ends off, before it jumps into another video. But anyway, um, so yeah, that was Church with country, a sissy country singer. And yeah, man, I agree with Church all the way throughout. And like I said, it's not just the country music scene, man. It's the music scene in general. You got all these, you know, sissy artists. You know what I mean? That be, you know, again, trying, trying to, trying to be this, this unofficial white knight, you know, for a bunch of people who didn't ask for them to be. You know what I'm saying? And would actually turn on them anyway. You know what I mean? Especially if they're, you know, white. Uh, you got these Hollywood actors, you know what I mean, who are trying to do the same thing. But again, if they're actually out on the street, right, and um, people and non-whites will say, saw them, they would, they would, they would go at them in a heartbeat. Did did we learn nothing from from the riots last year, bruh? So yeah, you can you can you know try to kiss ass all you want, brown nose all you want. At the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? And it. It's not worth your time. Y'all y'all go back and do what, what, what it is that we pay you to do. Freaking sing, rap, act, you know what I'm saying? Or um or make 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 a make a video game or whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? Quit trying to virtue signal. Quit trying to be quit trying to be this 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 white knight that nobody is is calling for you to be. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day it means dick. Stop holding people, stop holding, uh, uh, you know, people's past over their heads. How do you expect people to learn and grow if you don't let them put their past behind them and and allow them a chance to be better, to be a better person today than they were yesterday? 
Is that how you want to be treated? Whenever you say or do something stupid, do you want us to do the same thing for you? Say, okay, you, well, you said this and you did that, so therefore you don't belong in the spot. You, you don't belong in the spot either. You should be on the sidewalk with that other dude. You see how that works? See, that, that's nothing that bothers me. People don't think when they get on social media and make asses out of themselves saying some dumb shit. Saying like the, like the uh, dumbest shit that can easily be flipped around against them. What goes around comes around. You get you get from this world what you put in it. Do one of those as you would have them do one to you. Anyway, enough of me being on my on my soapbox. Let me go ahead and hop off of this soapbox. Hey, I, I just realized the length of Church's video is 6 minutes and 15 seconds. 615? Coincidence? Maybe. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> so yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and give this the proper closing. As y'all can can see, I went ahead and gave it a like because, I, like I said, I agree with Church on this one wholeheartedly. If you guys do too, you want to watch and listen to this uh, vlog that Church put out um, uninterrupted, you know what I'm saying, on your own free time. Well, you know, do that link. I'll be in the description down below. And uh, if you're with this reaction, you know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. I look forward to checking out y'all's feedback, as I always do. And uh, don't forget, below the video link um, are a set of instructions on how you can get a reaction request into your boy over here. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to, you know, peep that out and uh, proceed how, uh, whichever way you're, you're most comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Remember, a free request is just as good. It's just as important as a priority uh, request. So please do not feel obligated if you're not able to donate. If you can, cool. If not, hey, that's cool too. You know what I'm saying? Um, other ways that you can support the channel, of course, are the two store links. We got Spring Merch Store, uh, where I just launched a brand new line of uh, of apparel. Got some t-shirts, some hoodies, new bucket hat, new decals, uh, new coffee mugs. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, go check out the Spring Merch Store. The link will be in the description down below underneath the reaction request instructions. And uh, also don't forget my Kula Hawaii CBD products affiliate link. Uh, make sure you guys are using that coupon code to not only save yourself, uh, save yourselves on all your purchases, but also so I, my channel can get the credit and uh, that'll help out the channel immensely. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <clears throat> of course, if you can't support the channel financially, hey, no worries, all good. No hard feels, trust, I'll understand. You are still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you got your bell notifications set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. You feel me? And also don't forget, that also goes for all the folks that I rock with here on this platform. You know what I'm saying? And the folks that I rock with section, such as my man Alpha Tyler. I got both his channel links um, in the uh, section down below, along with Wii Scheme, Wildcard, Trippy J. Yeah, make sure you guys are showing the fan bam some love. And uh, I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV, wishing y'all a wonderful, happy, safe holiday season. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Uh, happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever it is that you celebrate, I hope you either have and or had, depending on when you're watching this, um, a blessed one. Catch you on the next one. All right? Peace.